hi guys and welcome back to ask nk in today's video we will be looking at a very quick update that has made its way into chaos and i'm talking about v-ray and what we have today is the guys at chaos have officially released a va cloud rendering system which simply means that now you don't need to bother your computer or you don't need to worry if you have enough uh, computer memory to render that amazing V-Ray scene of yours. So if you're making use of V-Ray 3D Max, V-Ray for Maya, V-Ray for Rhino, Cinema 4D, Revit, Modo, Houdini, and even SketchUp, you can now just simply uh, sync your files or sync your renders directly from your PC up to the cloud and, you know, get that render happening. And this works for both uh, static images and also for animated images. If you uh, come over to chaosgroup.com and you start or you try the render you can register and have 20 free credits and these 20 free credits are 20 free credits you can use to you know test out the renders and see if it's something you want to purchase we'll talk about the price in just a minute so how this works is directly inside your v-ray uh, toolkit or directly inside your v-ray render settings or render window you can simply uh, just select the file and fire up render to cloud and it is going to render and this rendering happens in two different ways there is a final render and there is also a denoise render and if i show you with the example that is available here you would see that we have this one which is the final render and if i control you can see the on denoise render so you can see the both of them and the individual renders that we're looking at they have time limit so it depends on how much time you want it to render okay so if you render for about a minute two minutes three minutes depending on how much time you allocate then it is definitely going to uh, reflect on the amount you'll be paying and it will also reflect on the render quality if we scroll all the way down let's just go through and you can see that they have some sort of explanations of things you may want to do with it and we can go all the way to the key features and all that stuff let's take a look at the kind of render samples that you can find so if you're making use of the preview version say you want to just test out your stuff and see what it looks like before you can fire up that final render with 17 minutes and 40 seconds you're going to get a very very uh, nice or smaller quality i might not be able to load up all of this but i'm going to put all the links so that you can find them out for yourselves directly in the description so if you look at something that we have here the denoised version you can see it's taking about 38 minutes and 35 seconds and it's costing you about this amount for you to render an amazing scene like this okay the render size is also something that you should also consider while rendering uh directly in v-ray so all the links will be in the description let's jump through and talk about the pricing so pricing is something you should also consider because you're working with v-ray and this is happening it's a cloud service you have to pay a certain amount i'm going to come through and explain all of this so if you want to buy say for example 100 credits or maybe 500 credits there is a discount when you're buying way more than 100 credits so for every credit every credit costs a dollar but if you want to buy 500 credits you'll be paying about uh, 475 dollars if you're buying something like uh a thousand credit you will be paid nine hundred dollars so the higher you go the more credit you buy the more discount you're going to get okay so it is something that is totally up to you as an artist it's totally up to you as a user to select what or choose what you want um maybe i forgot to tell you but definitely once you start out you can start out with 20 free credits and this is actually the update and i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section are you going to work with v-ray do you work with v-ray is this something that you really want is this something that you've been waiting for i would like to know about your feedback your comment i would like to know the rendering engine you work with and uh you know we can start a discussion about this and see where we can take this thing from i'm particularly happy about the fact that you know you can now do all of these things online and not on your pc because now the limitations is beginning to 
you know, reduce as much as possible. The only thing that I think might be a limitation for artists these days now would be the price they might be paying for a certain kind of render or for this render service. Which brings me to talking about a render service that is available with Google. So we covered a topic some time ago about a render service that is available with Google and Sony. I'm going to put the links in the description so you can check that out for yourself. So if you want to try something like that, you can go ahead, try that and see if it works for you. And I would like to know about you guys comment and tell me what you think about this in the comment section. And if you like this video, simply give it a like and don't forget to share it with your friends. And if you're new here, you can hit that subscribe button and turn on notification. So until I come your way again with a news rant tutorial update, peace.